Hey, what's up guys? This is Guy here and welcome to this first video of 2021. I'm so glad that you are still here watching me and I'm so glad of what this channel has become. I have more than 4,000 people just in 2020. I mean, I started being serious with this in February 2020 and I got 4,000 subscribers. That's a lot of people. I don't, I don't know if I can pretty much talk in front of 40,000 or 4,000 people. That's a lot. That's a lot. And thank you so much for that. So I wish you all the best for 2021. I'm here. We are together and we're going to work together because you know that here I share with you what I know, not only what I know, but also what I'm still learning because life is a growth journey. That's why here on KB Trainings, I say that learning never ends because you will never stop learning. You still have something to learn and it's a, it's a lifetime commitment. So thank you for being here and thank you for growing with me. I have way more to bring you in 2021. I will talk about myself in 2020 and I will show you my plans for 2021 that are very interesting. Most of what I bring you here is not something that I pulled out of whatever in me, but it's something that I experienced myself and I now bring it to you so you can maybe have the same experience as me or you can build on top of my experience and do even more. So what I want to talk about today is you getting out of the box. What do I mean by getting out of the box? Sometimes what I noticed is that a lot of people are narrowing their vision in the industry. They are narrowing their vision on their career because of their skills. They are not trying to broaden their skills and learn more things. That's, that's the only message here. To become an engineer in 2021 or network engineer or network architect, you don't only need networking. You need way more than networking. You need to have a little bit of everything to be that engineer that's ready to be hired by a good company. And every year for myself, I usually set a target. One of my targets every year is either to get a new certification because as you know here i say always that certifications are really important i either have to have at least one certification or i need to get a new job and that's exactly what i've been doing for the past few years and it's working for me at the beginning of 2020 i had the goal to get my ccie by the end of 2020 i even told you that in one of my videos when i started the the encore um, lab um, series but things can happen and as a human you need to have that capacity to adjust your priorities when it's needed. Like for me, I wanted to get the CCIE and then I got a new job, which is actually a pretty good job. I'll kind of go deeply into how I got the job and what were the skills that I worked on to get that job without the CCIE. I'm going to tell you that in a, in a future video, but I pretty much just worked on those skills and I got ready for that. And then I got the job. That was my accomplishment for 2020. And I was good. I don't need the CCIE. I mean, at least for 2020, I didn't focus on the CCIE anymore. My focus changed to go more into new things that I'm going to tell you in the next video. So this is just to say that you need more than your networking skills. And if you look at big names in history, like Leonardo da Vinci, for example, the guy was everything. He was an architect. He was a, a painter. He was a poet. He was, he was a lot, which means that you can be many things at the same time. When I started this channel, and I said that I was going to do networking, um, security, uh, programming, system. Some people were like, hey, can you do all of that? Can you, can you teach or can you share all of that? Yes, I can because I'm, I'm, I'm dedicated because I want to learn all those things because I know all those things. That's why I can share them with you. It doesn't mean that because you went to school and I pretty much noticed that from a lot of people that went to school and they learned something. And then when they come out of that, they're just like, okay, this is what I learned. This is what I know. This is all I can do. No, you should distance yourself from that. You should be able to do way more things. You should have an idea or a little bit of idea on pretty much everything in this industry. As a network engineer, you should know a little bit of, of networking, of course. You should know security. You should know cloud. You should know programming. You should know databases. You should know many things that will make you a perfect engineer for an employer out there. That's the kind of message that I'm going to bring you in 2021. We're going to grow together. We're going to learn new things, new experiences, and new skills that will help you get your dream job and live your dream life. I know there was a myth around that says that human usually uh, use like, um, I don't know, 10% of their brain. That's that pretty much false. We, we use way more than 10% of our brain all the time and your brain is still active in, even when you're sleeping. So you have a capacity of having a lot more information than what you have now. And it all depends on how much time do you put into acquiring that information and feeding your brain with new knowledge, with new experiences, with new contact and new people and new skills. You should be able to do that all the time. And you can take a commitment to be that person who's always seeking for knowledge, 
always seeking for new things, always seeking to be better in the career because I will share with you a lot of career tips here. And one of the main career tips that I'm going to talk about here when I'm talking about my own experience is that you don't have to be very comfortable. You don't need to get comfortable in any position that you are in. And that, that's not good because when you get comfortable, you stop growing. When you get comfortable, you don't learn anymore and that's it for you. And if you want to stay there for five years, you just wasted five years because you didn't learn something new, because you didn't challenge yourself, you didn't go beyond. And you need to have that constant need for new knowledge, for new things, for promotions. And it means that sometimes you may need to leave your position that you are now to go to another one to grow. Or you may need to, I mean, of course it depends on the opportunities around you, it depends on where you live. But in general, you need to be seeking for more. You need to be wanting more because that is the thing that will bring you from being a technician to an engineer, from being an engineer to an architect. It's your spirit. It's your mind. You're trying to know more. You're trying to be extra. You're trying to have your idea or your view on a lot of things that's going on in the industry. So yeah, I want to encourage you to not just stay in your, your comfort zone. You need to go outside of your comfort zone. You need to know way more things. Even though if you went to school to learn law, for example, you should be able at least to know what um, medicine or, or what product you can give your kid when he's sick for emergency by the time you get to the ER. You should be able at least to say, hey, I'm not, I'm not encouraging auto medication here, but I'm saying that you should have a little bit of idea on everything. You should open your mind to be wider and to learn more things even if you don't go deeper into them but you need to know them you need to know they exist you need to you need to play with them because i'm a network guy i have no idea on on virtualization for example and that's why i'm so happy with cisco with the new ccna which brings all those different areas together in a single ccna to start with because they know that you don't, you don't only need to be um, a routing and switching guy. You don't only need to be a security guy. You need to be a little bit of a mix. You need a little bit of everything. And all of that will just make you a better engineer, a better candidate for interview. And talking about interviews, I'm going to share a lot of interview tips with you here because that's the goal. The goal is to share my experience. And as I said, learning will never end. And you should always be strategic when you are learning. You should say, hey, this is this one helping me in my current position? Or is this one helping me for my next position? And one thing that I want to say is that you should not just be sensational, like follow just things for the sake of following. You should do things that should bring you something back, that should grow your career. You can go and learn some things that will never help you anywhere. And then you end up just having that garbage in your head. You need to be strategic when you are um, growing your career. You need to be strategic when you are doing it. That's why it's good for you to follow people that have actual experience. People that can tell you or share with you their own experience and what they did and what they're trying to do and what they've accomplished. Those people will be real with you. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much uh, what I want to say. So I had a call with uh, one of my uh, friends here today because I think I also want to bring you some other professionals. I will not only show you me and my uh, project here. I'm going to bring you some other people that are successful, that have done something or that are good with their career. They will share their experiences. That is something that I'm uh, clearly working on. And I'm about to get a second microphone like this and we'll get everything ready for, for someone to, to stay next to me and uh, I'll be you know asking questions and uh, you'll get that experience from a third party. I mean, I say third party, yeah, because we are pretty much one right now, me and you. So we'll have a third party next to us and uh, those people will tell us what they know and um, what they do in their careers. And that's, that's just to share, just to show you that it's all possible. You can do it. Many people have done it before you. So it's just a matter of you opening up and you getting out of your box, getting out of the four walls that you close yourself in and go out there and explore. So in the next video, I'll tell you about the skills that I focused on and that gave me this job without the CCIE or the skills that I want you to focus on um, because CCNA only is, is the beginning. And by the way, I think this is a good time for me to plug in my course. So I have a CCNA uh, program on kbtrainings.com forward slash CCNA. If you are interested, if you want to start, and I, I really say starting because the CCNA is pretty much like a requirement right now for, for a network guy. You need to have at least the CCNA and then go up. Of course, you may have, you may not have the CCNA. You have a good job. I mean, a job and, and a salary. But when you get to the CCNA, it brings you somewhere. And when you go beyond the CCNA, you're really, really building that career that you're dreaming of. And it will it will bring you places, that's for sure. And if you like this video, don't forget to like it. Actually, like it on, on YouTube and subscribe for more. 
thank you for being uh, with me the, for the last year and for this new year here. I'm so grateful and I expect to see you with more content on careers, more content on knowledge and more of my personal projects. And I'll be glad to share all of that with you here. Thank you so much for your time and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.